Hello and welcome to one of our compilation editions, a compendium of moments which were destined for the cutting room floor until the producers realised that you could stitch them together and make an even more fantastic whole. So here's a Frankenstein monster edition of Whose Line Is It Anyway? What is your scene? You're two glass blowers uh, starting... <laughs> Two glass blowers starting to get on each other's nerves. Okay, uh, you just do it in a normal way for a minute, and then I'll give you some of these styles as we go on. Where you go. Stop it! Stop <laughs> it! I was right in the middle of blowing my glass house. Well, that's what you have to expect. It's your first day here, and everybody has to take what they get. <laughs> my God, you've blown a glass gun. That's right. It's too bad you didn't blow. Let's start with an easy one, then a western. It's too bad you didn't blow any glass bullets for that gun. <laughs> I, on the other hand, have both. Lassie. What's that girl? <laughs> Old Lady Johnson fell down the glass well? <laughs> I'll blow some glass vines, we'll lower them down and lift her up. <laughs> <laughs> Top gun. Quite a glass blower, don't you? I'm the best. Yeah, but your glass blowing cost someone his life, didn't it? <laughs> I don't want you blowing around me. You're irresponsible. Just give me one more chance to get into the glass ship. <laughs> one more chance? <laughs> didn't hear a word I said, did you? No, it's glass. It sort of stops the. <laughs> My Little Pony. So you gotta pile them on top of each other. That way it's easy. <laughs> if we go on to quick change, this is for uh, Ryan, Brad, and Stephen. If you'd like to come on down. Um, now, this is easy enough. Brad and Stephen are gonna be improvising a scene, but every now and then, uh, Ryan will say change, and they have to change whatever they just said. I hope that makes sense. It should do. Brad, you're briefing Stephen, a spy, about a dangerous miss mission. Okay? Change. Agent 7. Here are the blueprints. You're I've right. been promoted, then I was six last week. That's right. <laughs> Someday you'll be nine. Remember that. Now, here are the blueprints. I what? want you to look at this duct access work. I'm colorblind. It doesn't make any sense to me. Change. I can see perfectly well. I know exactly what you're talking about. Change. I forgot my contact lenses. All right, well, it's luckily in Braille, so just feel it. Because <laughs> the duct work is very dark, so you're going to have to feel your way around in there anyway. That's a brilliant touch. Change. That feels disgusting. Change. Oh, have you spat all over this? Yeah, sorry about that. I was eating while I was making the map. Change. I'm sorry about that. I drool a lot when I watch the uh, Carson show. Change. I had something in my mouth that made me salivate so much it was like Niagara Falls. Change. I just love the smell of your cologne and it drives me crazy. <laughs> so. Sir, you trying to tell me something? No, I don't want to tell you that now until you come back from your mission, because if you die, I couldn't bear the pain of losing you. Change. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to tell you something. Change. I haven't told you what I want to tell you because the thought of your hand on my shoulder makes my shoes warm. Sir, how can you expect me to go on this mission and probably not come back alive with you here waiting for me with those feelings in your heart? It's the only reason to come back. But, sir, if I go and I fail, what does that mean? You'll have a lovely plaque with your name on it. Change. You'll have a funeral bigger than the Queen's. Change. I will parade around on your gravestone in a dress. <laughs> this equipment, sir, this pen, what does it actually do? Ah, if you press this button here, it shoots a laser beam. Change. If you touch this thing, it gets ink all over your finger. Change. If you wave it around above your head, it whistles. Change. If you put it in your pocket, it'll toast your nuggets. <laughs> Colin's going to be acting out some everyday activity, and to make it easy for him, 
uh, Ryan will provide the sound effects for him. I suppose it makes it easy for you, I don't know. Anyway, you're in a plane waiting to parachute behind enemy lines. Must be every day for some people, but uh, <laughs> not for most of us here, I would hope. Anyway, you're on a plane, parachuting, enemy lines, sound effects by Ryan. Take it away. <laughs> Animals. Uh, this is for Ryan, Colin, and Greg, and they just have to act out a little scene from a soap opera kind of thing. Um, but they're animals. In particular, Ryan and Greg are two pigs on their wedding night. Uh, <laughs> when Colin, uh, who is Ryan's ex wife, who he thought had been slaughtered, <laughs> suddenly reappears. The, this game is the product of deranged minds. <laughs> and you are the ideal people to act them out, let us say. So there it is. Animal soup opera, away you go. Catch me if you can. Happy? <laughs> As a pig in my <laughs> <laughs> find you here. What are you doing here? I thought you were dead. Oh, yeah, get out of here, you big butthead. Oh, you... truffles. <laughs> truffles. I know that. I want you to. You're a bigamist. I thought you were dead. I said goodbye to you that day, lying next to those eggs and that toast. Hoof, hoof, <laughs> hoof, 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 hoof. Snout. <laughs> don't fight. Don't fight. Don't fight over me. <laughs> Why you two timer? You're good for nothing. Not even bacon. What? Yes, and your sausage is small and undercooked. What? Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> you sow! You I don't hog! Know. <laughs> I guess I'll have to pick one of you. I don't know who to pick. <laughs> well, I'm leaving. This little piggy is going to market. <laughs> well, this little piggy's going home. I'm gonna play with some roast beef. <laughs> okay, thank you. Much. Well done. Um, uh, in fact, Jason's going to make up a song on the spot about somebody here in the studio audience. So, would somebody, perhaps a man of some sort, like to volunteer to have... A man of some a, sort. Of some sort, of any sort. <laughs> uh, who would like to have a, a song made up about them? Oh, yes. Gentlemen, Best right over there. What's your name, please? Uh, Brendan. Brendan Gibbs. Brendan, Brendan Gibbs. Brendan Gibbs. Brendan Gibbs. Brendan Gibbs. Gibbs. Yes. All right. And what's your job, Brendan? Uh, I'm a policeman. Oh. A policeman? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> So, can you uh, make up a song on the spot about Brendan Gibbs, a policeman, in the style of uh, a Sondheim song, an upbeat kind of Sondheim song? So, we'll take it away, Richard. When I look 
at you, my heart starts to wail, Brandon. You could take me to jail, Brandon. Any kind of day, that's what I say. When I look at you, I think his nips. I just want to be Mrs. Gibbs today. So look at me, Brandon. Please don't stop. You know that you're my favorite cup. I used to love others, but what the hell with it? All I want to do is touch your shiny helmet, Brandon. Brandon. Kiss me, Brandon, kiss me. Please don't stop. Oh, I love you. You're my favorite cup. Oh, when you leave, I'm so bereft. Sometimes I think I'll just do a theft so you'll come to me. Put me in handcuffs. Treat me rough, Brandon. Oh, take me to prison. I'll be your prisoner. I love you. And down the river of love, I will wend and for you, Brandon. Tough ones, wasn't it? Yes, so uh, that's the points are terrific, exciting, and I'll tell you them later as we go into a game called Backward Scene. This is for Colin, Ryan, and Brad, and they just have to uh, improvise a scene, but they have to start at the end and, of course, end at the beginning. And the where, where you start from or end with, depending how you look at it, your, your two people are dead. Let's say uh, Ryan and Colin are dead uh, at the end of a saloon bar showdown. So you'd like to lie on the floor now and be dead. And that's the, that's the end point, which we begin with. And you have to work back to the beginning and end with that. Work that up. Ching, 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 ching. I love you. <laughs> you can hit me if you tried. <laughs> you bastard. <sighs> How come you look so strange? You look familiar. Howdy. <laughs> Whiskey. Would you like something to drink? <laughs> Next time, do it slower so it don't go off the end of the bar. <laughs> Tell me another joke. <laughs> A penguin. <laughs> I give up. What? What am I going to shove up your ass if you don't pour me a beer? Okay, see you in there. Thank you very much. We've got a home shopping. This is for Ryan and Colin. And you know those shopping channels where they have to sell all kinds of interesting and rubbishy stuff? Well, this is a challenge. Uh, see if you can sell to the TV audience uh, keys that definitely don't fit any lock and a piece of fluff. Well, I've had a handful of fluff. Uh, let's throw in something else as well. Is there anything else completely useless you might imagine? Uh, I'm trying to sell. Old asparagus. What was that? Old asparagus. Old asparagus. <laughs> a bizarre suggestion. Old, <laughs> so bizarre it might just not work. Uh, old, old asparagus, asparagus. Then there you go. So keys that don't fit a lock, a handful of fluff, and old asparagus. Where you go? Hey, it's five o'clock, and it's time to shop. shop. Welcome. <laughs> We've got all kinds of great bargains for you today, don't we, Teddy? We certainly do. What's first on the bill today? Keys. Come on, they just look like ordinary keys. Oh, Who would be they? interested in those? Well, this key's to my Porsche, this key's to my yacht, or are they? You see, I don't need any of those things, because I've got the keys. That impresses women in the bar like crazy. Hey, <laughs> what's this one, too? I don't know. What is it? It might fit my Learjet. My Learjet? Do I have one? Who knows? <laughs> say, what do you got there, and whose belly button did you take that out of? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. For a special time only, we're selling celebrity belly lint. Really? Exactly. Huh. What could you use something like that for? Well, it's Halloween. What should I go as? Huh. Ho, ho, ho! Hey, it's Santa Claus! That's right! Shh. Don't scare me! No! Oh, no! I spilt a drink on Mom's coffee table! Soaks it up in seconds flat! <laughs> Boy, I'll bet it does! Mom's coffee table? Do you keep that in her house? Yes, I do! I got the key! Oh! <laughs> Would 
you be willing to spend for this celebrity belly button lint? Hmm. 40 pounds? No. 30 pounds? No. 180 pounds? That's absolutely right! It's a dragon! I'm gonna get the money out of my safe right now! <laughs> but you know, we also have other things. Oh, many other things. Things that are good for you. And things that aren't quite so good for you. Like what? I'll tell you. Hmm. Old asparagus. <laughs> now, what possible use can a person have for old asparagus? I know new asparagus is good for you and good for your body, but what purpose could old asparagus have? <laughs> well, it's enough of the stalling. Let's get right to it. Right. <laughs> old asparagus. It is for this, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you know. A lot of times you'll invite people over to your house. You want to fix them for sure. You want to fix them a big meal, but that's nothing. People don't really thank you for that. They don't appreciate it. But if you have old asparagus in your fridge, they what call? They leave as soon as they can. That's right. No more wasting get your time. time out. Out. Wanted house Let guests. me get the key. Let me get the door for you. Bye bye. Get out. We're going to go three of a kind it's for Greg, Colin, and Ryan, and they're going to act out of scene. But they're three of a kind. They're three. Exactly similar types. Uh, in fact, what you'll do you are three ice hockey players doing the housework. Just doing the housework, but you're ice hockey players. It could happen. It must happen. Take it away. Hey, who's going to help me with these dishes? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, help me with these dishes! <laughs> hey, 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 get it out. Why don't you put the laundry in the hamper? All right, here we go. <laughs> I imagine the party is in full swing, is it, Stephen? Absolutely. Ah, yes. <laughs> Do help yourself to macadamias. <laughs> you might want them. OK. Oh, will you excuse me, Your Grace? <laughs> Hello. Do come in. Are you looking at me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you acting, looking at acting me? Yes, that was the idea. Would you like something to eat? Are you hungry? Are you talking to me, lad, eh? <laughs> Watch yourself, matey. Right, oh, you go and help yourself. You mean sorry. sorry? I'll just while you help yourself with some guacamole, I'll um. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> can I? <laughs> can I give you something to drink? <laughs> He's got an anus cerebrus. Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to look after him while I just go and get the doorbell that's about Thank to ring? Thank you, then. Good Lord. Come in. Do come in. Hello. <laughs> Steve, you're looking lost. Well, no, no. It just reminded me of a party I was at last week. <laughs> Are you, What's are you a that queen? Said about a queen? That queen? Are you a queen? Having a fight in a pub, I'll give you a queen. Thank you. Um. Put away, put away close with a bit close with cock. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed. Uh, <laughs> Turkey? Uh, no, more wetter than that. Well, All right. So <laughs> so <laughs> I just like it so much, I want him to carry on doing it. Yes, just... okay. Water skiing? <laughs> Balancing on a raft. <laughs> what was that about a tunnel before? So, what's he on top of? He's balancing on something. On a... <laughs> on a train. <laughs> a train, that's it, well done, well done. Sorry. I'm terribly uh, stupid. Which, oh, no, I just love this. I do help myself with some more drinks. Which proper aquatic children's oh, character so is this? so sweet! <laughs> so sweet! It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> is this a Teletubby again? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, Ripper. Ryan. Guess who he oh, was. Well done, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> so the scene you've got to improvise, and the only move when you're moved is it's Captain Ahab and his first mate. Uh, they're searching, <laughs> searching, of course, for Moby Dick. So, so keep Moby Dick on your brain while you're while you're moving them around, and we'll also go well. So where you go, they can only move when you move them. Captain, I can't see a thing. <laughs> This parrot's gonna have to lose weight. <laughs> what parrot? The parrot, oh, oh my god! god. Oh, I'll, I'll just set him down. Take That's him a... off, take him off! I am, I'm trying, there, on the ground. Look, <laughs> over there! 
Where? Where am I about to point? Where is that dead thing? There! <laughs> oh, there! It's Moby Dick! The great white whale! Oh. The one that took my land! Oh, 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 oh. I'm picking up some mental images! <laughs> He's coming towards us. Get the harpoon, meaty. Right. <laughs> Thank God it was right here beside me. I tried to pick it up with one hand, but I think it's too heavy. I'm just so ashamed about my perspiration stage. <laughs> All right, Captain. Yes? Should I throw it? Here, let me help you. Uh, I'll just extend it. It's one of those collapsible ones. <laughs> I'll tie a rope to the end of it so we can pull Moby back in. Right. I'll wait here while you do that. <laughs> Boy, this rope is thick. I'm probably, <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to get a running start on this. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Why are you putting in the harpoon gun? The harpoon gun? Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Apparently, I'm putting it in and it's aimed directly at you, sir. Oh, well, don't do that. Aim it for Moby, right over there. Right, let me move the cannon. He's getting closer. Here, I'll come over and help you. All right. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> It's a rough sea today! <laughs> My God! How long have you been at sea? Captain, I'm not sure that I still have the harpoon in my head. <laughs> My God, man! I'm ashamed! I'm ashamed! Talk about Moby Dick! Now, come on! Hey. All, right, all right, I'll kill him first. Guess what I've got behind my back? <laughs> Uh, so, what I'd like you to do is uh, hold out about space travel, uh, which is ever popular these days. So, the space travel hoedown, starting with you, Greg, working out of the way to Ryan. Well, this is Richard, as I think I may have mentioned. Take it away, space travel hoedown. I like doing hoedowns, especially in space. I do them with antennas, I do them with lots of grace. But tonight is really special, and I'll buy all the beers, cause I'm doing a space hoedown next to Norm from Cheers. <laughs> Problem Houston, I don't have the right stuff. I'm not going to space now to look for stuff that they make fluff out of. <laughs> Dance break! <laughs> I am an astronaut, my last trip was a pip. I was captured by some aliens and put upon their ship. They put me in the corner, then they made me disrobe. Let me tell you, nothing hurts more than a Martian probe. <laughs> it's just me and another guy floating around space. Just to break the boredom, sometimes he wears lace. Houston knows about it, but they never make a fuss. Unless they catch me circling around his Uranus. 